This video is sponsored by Warner Brothers Discovery. I built a secret bat cave that most people will never find, but I'm gonna give you a hint. At the back of this container is my secret bat cave. We made it real. Did I seriously just build a bat cave just for YouTube? Well, kind of. You see, ever since I started this YouTube channel, I thought it would only be a matter of time before some eccentric billionaire approached us to build him fantastic gadgets for fighting crime. It's been almost eight years and that still hasn't happened. So if you want something done right, I become the Batman. I can't be Batman. Come on! Do you have any idea how much Batman costs? You're not a billionaire. You're not even a millionaire. Hello, Warner Brothers Discovery. Uh huh. Yeah. You don't say. We're building a Batcave. Besides getting to build our very own Batcave, Warner Brothers Discovery sent us a ton of awesome toys and collectibles to give away to some lucky fans. You can find these products featured in this video at your local retailer or through the buy links included in the description below. Now that's a cool sponsor. So the question is, how are we gonna build the space? What about shipping containers? They're big, relatively cheap, and you can link them together. I think they'd be perfect for throwing together a cave. Now, obviously I'm not the first person who's thought about using a container for something other than shipping. In fact, a friend of mine runs the YouTube channel, thecontainerguy.ca, and he actually runs a business selling attachment kits and accessories for containers for purposes beyond shipping. So we're gonna let them handle that part while we focus on the part that we're good at, the high-tech features. We take two shipping containers and we put them end to end. That way we have this really long 80 foot corridor that just seems to go on forever to really give us that vast feel of a bat cave. I want lights that click on one by one by one by one. I want this to be an experience. So when fans come in here, they're just like, where the heck am I? We definitely want secret entrances. We can have another one over here through the back of a 20 foot shipping container. And what I want to do for the lights is I actually want to have a generator in here. So you actually have to turn on the generator to turn on the entire bat cave. So you can really imagine that it's just like in the middle of nowhere. Obviously we're going to need bat suits and of course we're also going to have all his bat gadgets on display. Definitely need a bat computer and we're definitely going to need some Wayne Enterprises level tech too. Oh, it needs to be a garage. I need to be able to ride my motorcycle, mind the bat drying out of the cave, which means we need some awesome like hydraulic door openers over here. Perfect. All right, here's the layout. Let's send that off to the container guys and I'm gonna start working on some of the tech. To see the full video of these awesome mods, check out the container guys video. The container guys did a great job modifying these containers and my team is so excited to start digging in and doing our mods. Why we're cutting the doors off is we're gonna join these two end to end. Keep coming, three feet, cheers. The first step is to get cables run for power so we can do lights, which will be the first mod with Charles leading the way. To light the bat cave, we're gonna use 3,000 addressable LEDs. They're gonna go in every second one of these strut channels up one wall, across and down, and we're gonna do that in all 21 of those channels. Did I mention it's 30 degrees in here? Moment of truth, we've got this whole shipping container wired up. Let's see if it lights up. Whoa! <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Let's go! So what we have going on is each group of three LEDs here is on its own controller, and each of those controllers talks to the next one in the chain. So we have one microcontroller way back there in that box with the big switch on it, that when it gets the signal from the switch, it turns on the first group, then the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, twenty-first. You need to have all 144 of these in each row working correctly. So if one thing breaks, it shows up. While the team works on that, I'm gonna start in the back closet. Now, I'm sure you've heard of aluminum extrusion before, but this, this is called the Ultra Pillar, and it's gonna make my life a whole lot easier. It's super modular, it's got threaded holes, and it's basically like building blocks for adults. It comes with all these kinds of accessories, it looks super cool, and it only comes in black, Batman's color. 
So I'm gonna start building some of the bat displays using this. While I finished up the suit closets, Ian started working on the bat computer. Just a reminder, this project is sponsored by Warner Brothers Discovery and they made it all possible. I've got three TVs and I'm gonna turn it into a bat display. So we're gonna use the ultra pillar, which is great because I have no idea how I'm gonna do this. This plate goes on here. Productivity goes up linearly with the number of screens that you have. Is it big enough? <laughs> this 3D printer is the real deal. It's called the Pantheon. And if the name's not cool enough by itself, it's from a Canadian company and this thing's built like a full CNC machine. This thing's really heavy. Now that's a back computer. Tons of screen real estate, and as a centerpiece, a super amazing 3D printer, the Pantheon. You gotta take these wire racks and put them in the container. But for it to fit right, you've gotta cut them down. We walked up a few different ideas of how to mount these and where they, where they go. And then the grid wall goes in between, perfectly in between, so we cut them down. A 40 foot empty container weighs about 9,000 pounds or almost 5,000 kilos. And while it's been nice having them right here by the shop to work on the back cave, we've got to move them. So me and Mike came up with an idea that we're hoping will work. Is it a good idea? It's a great idea. So these are designed for shipping containers and they're called like skid plates. So what we did is we cut a hole in the side and we bought a trailer axle and we cut it in half and now we're just gonna put one half here, one half there, put some tires on the end, attach to the container and bam, we've made a trailer. In theory. Once our trailer dolly was ready, I was a bit lazy and I used the forklift to move it and then drove over it. We were finally ready to move it, and it turns out the tire is flat. Uh -oh. There's no point in having a bat cave unless it's a secret bat cave. So we're going to hide this on the property somewhere, and you'll have to guess where. We just got both the circuits in place, and now we are starting connecting both of the containers together so that we can get a very nice aesthetic look on the inside, and then we're going to be copying it to make sure you're not being linked. Install. What's the next thing, boys? I don't know. <laughs> Now we've had shipping containers broken into before, so we decided to kill two birds with one stone. Delicious. And we made hydraulic door openers that yeah. both let us open these doors and make sure no one can open them from the outside. Here we go. That's all I can show the viewer at this point. Oh, but it's so cool. All right, so my goal for the hidden entrance is through the back of this shorter 20-foot container. And I'm gonna take an oxyacetylene torch and then cut a rough hole. And then it just needs a good kick. And then we fill this thing with junk. And then you'll like push past the junk, and then surprise, we pull this poorly cut hole, or now you're in the cave. For our second hidden entrance, Logan and I brainstormed some ideas, and then I let Logan take lead, since he used to literally build escape rooms for his past job. It's time for... With a plan determined, I began assembling each section that would make this entrance fit for Batman himself. After hundreds if not thousands of hours of work, we're finally done. 
and now it's time to show it off. Just a reminder, this project is sponsored by Warner Brothers Discovery and they made it all possible. This is our latest project and you two are going to be the first people who get to see it. Are you guys ready to go into the back end? I'm not too, too sure how to get in, so you might have to help me, all right? Welcome to our office space here. See if you notice anything. Maybe, maybe it's, oh, oh. What's that? <gasps> What's up there? <gasps> A hidden door. What did I just do? <laughs> That was pretty cool, huh? Oh, yeah. Go in here! Oh, my God. Through this secret door is the back alleys inspired by Gotham City. <laughs> Joker, 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 Joker. It's about to go. What do you think's through there? There's no lights in here. Can you guys find a light switch? That is a very oversized light switch. Whoa, look at the lights all the way down here. Whoa! How cool is that, buddy? Look, this is the Lego set. This is the Lego set that I was talking about. Oh, that's yeah. That looks cool. What does that say? Can you read that out loud? Dear Paul and Scott, I left something on the bottom of the tool chest for you, Alfred. This is mine. You guys got some Batman loot. Yeah, all of it's too cool for you guys. Fully metal. Da, da, da. Thank you. Where is Alfred? I want to give him a hug. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Bat bike time. All right, we've got one more surprise for the next Batwoman. Look at that! Batman has a secret Batmobile exit! Oh, oh. Ah. Yeah. Happy Batman Day! Happy Batman Day! Huge thank you to Warner Brothers for fulfilling my dream of building a real life Batcave. If you guys want to check out any of the toys or collectibles you saw in the video, check out the links in the description below. And if you want to see more Batman content, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check out the other playlist of all our Batman projects.